Okay, this video is about writing and solving two-step inequalities. Uh, writing two-step inequalities, basically you just need to take the skills of writing equations and combine that with uh, solving two-step inequalities and then you can write and solve two-step inequalities. So let's get started with a few examples. Bob wants to spend at most $100 on gifts for his friends. He plans on getting them mailed so he doesn't have to put them in his luggage. To ship the box is a flat rate of $16 and each gift is $3. Each of the gifts is $3. At most, how many gifts can he buy? Well, uh, we know a few things. We know that this flat, this meaning of flat rate Okay, that means it's a one-time deal. So we're not going to need to multiply that by anything. It's just going to be added to the, the cost. That's going to be at most $100. Now, the at most, it can be $100. It can be less than $100. Or it can be, uh, but it cannot be greater than $100. So we're going to put that at most is 100. In other words, it's going, the total that he spends needs to be less than or equal to $100. And he plans on getting them mailed. Okay, the ship, uh, to ship the box is a flat rate of $16 and each gift is $3. So, uh, we need to figure out at most how many gifts can he buy. Can he buy at most? So, uh, it's going to be $3 each gift and we don't know how many gifts it is, so the, how many gifts is going to be x. So 3 times the number of gifts gives us the total cost that he's going to spend just in the gifts. And then we're going to take that total cost and we're going to need to add that to 16 because $16 is a shipping. He can put as many as he wants in the box. We're assuming that since it says a flat rate. So we get the inequality of 3x plus 16 is less than or equal to 100. Uh, you guys remember how to solve this. We'll subtract 16 from both, uh, both sides. And we'll get 84 is less than or equal to 3 times x. And then if we divide both sides by 3, this is a positive number, so we don't need to change anything of the signs. And since I ran out of space, I'll just write it over here. Uh, that's going to be 84 divided by 3, I believe, is 28. So he can get up to 28 gifts for his friends, but not any more than that. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, George lives in Antarctica and is worried that his car's gasoline is going to freeze. The freezing point of gasoline is 40 below zero. Right now it is 30 degrees Celsius in his garage, but the temperature is expected to drop 5 degrees every hour once he leaves his house. At most, how long does George have before his gasoline freezes? Okay, so uh, at most, how long does he George have before his gasoline freezes? Well, let's see. Uh, we, the, we're... The temperature we're worried about, since it's negative 40 or 40 below, right, then he needs to have his temperature, oops, sorry, that's the wrong one. He needs to have his uh, the temperature be greater than, right, or equal to negative 40. He doesn't want it less than negative 40. He wants it greater than or equal to negative 40. So it's, right now it's, 30 degrees below zero, uh, no, sorry, 30 degrees Celsius, but the temperature is going to drop 5 degrees every hour, so it's going to start out at 30, but it's going to uh, drop 5 degrees every hour, and we're asking for how long in hours, how much time, right? So if it's 5 degrees every hour, then 5 times... Uh, the number of hours is how fast it's going to drop. So again, what this is saying is it's starting out at 30, right? Uh, we, we need it to be greater than or equal to negative 40. And every hour, it's going to drop 5 degrees. So 
After the first hour, it's going to be 25 degrees. After the second hour, if this was a 2, it would be 2 times 5 is 10. It's going to be 20 degrees and so on. Okay, so uh, now we have the inequality set up. We're just going to solve this. Negative 30 from both sides. Now that's subtracting 30, so nothing changes with the sign. Uh, but we get negative 5x has to be greater than or equal to negative 70. Okay, now since negative 5 is being multiplied by x, in order to do the inverse operation, we're going to divide both sides by negative 5. And when we divide by a negative for inequalities, we need to change the sign. So I'm going to write it over here again. And this time, uh, negative 5 divided by negative 5 just gives us that x. Again, you'll notice that this was a greater than or equal to sign. Now I'm putting it as a less than or equal to sign here. And negative 70 divided by negative 5 is a positive 14. So what this is saying now is that George has uh, 14 or less, I suppose, 14 or less, uh, or less than 14 or equal to, less than or equal to 14 hours before his gasoline freezes. Okay, uh, as always, thank you for watching, and we'll do some more practice in class, but hopefully this was helpful at least to get you started.